Hey guys, I, I hope you're healthy. I get asked by my patients all the time about fasting, either intermittent fasting or long-term fasting. Well, the benefits are huge for your health. I don't know if you've ever heard of the term autophagy. Most people have it, but it's the way that your cells renew themselves, the, the way that they clean themselves. Just think about this. When you're hungry and you're starving, you're constantly looking for food instinctually. Well, the same goes for your cells. They're looking to actually make themselves leaner and cleaner, right? Consuming the proteins and the microbes, the different things in them that, that aren't effective any longer. And so they actually start to clean themselves and, and make it so the cell lasts longer, is more efficient, and has a longer lifespan. There's a difference between that and apoptosis. Apoptosis is a term that is consistent with programmed cell death. So when a cell replicates a certain amount of times, as it's getting older, it's programmed to die. And we want to make sure that we minimize apoptosis, except in, in, in cases of cancer, and we'll talk about cancer in a minute, uh, and increase autophagy. We want the cell to last longer. Uh, therefore, we have more replications and can live longer for aging. So let's, let's give an analogy as far as uh, that's concerned by, let's say, leasing a car, which is equated to apoptosis, to owning a car long-term, which is autophagy. When you lease a car, there's only a certain amount of time that you're going to have that car and it's gone right? It's programmed. You have two, three years, it's done, it's over. Autophagy means you're going to own the car longer and you're going to have to at one point in time start to recycle things, right? You're going to have to put in a new battery or water pump or oil seals, but that car is going to last longer. You're not going to have the need for increased cells as, more, as frequent as you would as if you take care of the cells you have. So really, we want to make sure that we have more autophagy than apoptosis. And fasting does that. It helps maintain that cell so it creates its, itself, it cleans itself, it remains healthy. So it can really make a difference for aging. It can also make a difference for cancer. Now, you've heard of a PET scan. A PET scan is a type of scan that's used to determine where cancer cells are and the quantity. So what they found was that cancer cells consume sugar at an alarming rate. It, they, they really consume a lot more energy than a normal cell. It's because they're replicating so fast. So what they've done is they've taken glucose molecules and they've tagged them radioactively. They then give you this substance and then do a scan on you. And they can, when that scan happens, they can see where the radioactive glucose is located. And therefore, you'll see spots on it to where cancer is located. Well, can you imagine if you starved the cancer cells? Because they're much more prone to starvation than normal cells. So if we can starve cancer cells, there's, there's a large uh, population that think that starvation can make a big difference with cancer. It's also been determined that fasting can help with neurodegeneration. You've heard of Alzheimer's, and Alzheimer's is now considered type 3 diabetes. We want to make sure that, that we have appropriate blood sugar, but we want to make sure that we're able to get it into the cell as well. If blood sugar is too high for too long, it doesn't necessarily get into the cell effectively, right? Because your system isn't working appropriately. You've heard of insulin resistance before or diabetes. It's, it's a similar scenario where we have increased blood sugar, we have increased insulin, we have increased inflammation. So we want to make sure that nerve cells are able to take up the function of those that die, and we want to minimize the ones that die. So fasting can make a big difference with that. Uh, blood pressure and cardiovascular disease, it can help decrease blood pressure and, and also decrease inflammation, which can decrease cardiovascular disease. And diabetes is huge with fasting. Uh, insulin resistance, same thing. And it's just a, a huge thing to decrease the inflammatory responses to the blood sugar when you do fast. It's, it's not uncommon that somebody's going to come up to me and they're going to say, well, gee, how do I fast? Well, I'll tell them, look, start off easy. Let's start off with a meal. Just give up a meal and see how you feel. 
we can eventually go up to 24 hours. Some people, I've got fasting even longer. It really depends. You have to be very, very careful if you're doing long-term just to make sure we've got the, the minerals and the nutrients to make up for uh, you not consuming food. But the big consensus that I see for most patients when they fast is they have a, a renewed sense of energy and, and they feel better. They feel good. Is it due to the increased mitochondrial response or is it due to the decrease in, in eating toxic foods? Uh, hard to say, but it does help with reducing inflammation. And it also increases the way that your body burns fat, it increases your metabolism, and also increases your growth hormone. It also helps with decreasing chronic diseases, inflammatory responses. And, you know, autoimmunity is huge with inflammation. We've got to be very, very careful. It's a slippery slope with fasting and autoimmunity, but it does make a difference for certain autoimmune diseases. And it can actually be regenerative. Your body starts to regenerate when you're fasting, like we talked about before, autophagy. And here's the best part. The best part is, is it's free. It, the only thing you have to get over is the, the pain and discomfort of, of being hungry. Once you do that, you may see a whole renewed self. Now, of course, if you're breastfeeding, if you're pregnant, or if you have certain autoimmune diseases or even adrenal issues, you may not want to fast. You may want to consult your doctor or functional medicine specialist, most likely. Um, and if you want to know more, you can go over to my website, drsalea.com, and you can schedule for a free 15-minute consult, or you can become a new patient. We can talk all about fasting and intermittent fasting and what a great thing it is for your health. My name is Dr. Greg Salea.